Many of you have asked us how you can migrate to Australia if you are a trades worker. So in this video, I will explain you the steps involved if you wish to migrate to Australia. Hello everybody, my name is Sumandua. I'm a registered migration agent in Australia. In this video today, I will be explaining you the process involved to migrate to Australia if you are a trades worker. You can see some of the trade occupations listed on my screen now. And if you are uh, from one of the countries that I have put on the screen now, then we can help you in getting the skills assessment for your occupation. A skill assessment is the first step that you need to do if you wish to migrate to Australia in the future. A skills assessment determines if you have the skills and the experience to work in Australia in your nominated occupation. The skills assessing body for any trade occupation in Australia is Trades Recognition Australia. They have a few skills assessment programs. So the first one is the Job Ready program, which is available for the international graduates in Australia who have studied a trade qualification in Australia. So I have made a separate video explaining you the Job Ready program process. I will put the link in the description. The other main skills assessment program is the TSS employer sponsored 482 visa. So it is a temporary skills shortage visa and you do need an employer to sponsor you for this visa. I have made a separate video explaining you about the 482 visa. I will put the link in the description. The third main skills assessment program is called the OSAP or the Overseas Skilled Assessment Program. So in this video, I will be explaining you in detail about this program. So the skills assessment process involved in the TSS 482 visa and the OSAP program skills assessment are quite similar. So if you're looking at skilled migration visas like 189, 190 or 491 or if you're looking at employer sponsored visas like 482, 186 or 494 visas, you will have to get a skills assessment first in order to migrate to Australia. If you are somebody who has been working in a licensed trade like electrician or plumber and you don't have any formal qualification, then you need to have six years full-time work experience in order to get a positive skills assessment outcome. And if you are a licensed trade worker who has a formal qualification, then you still need four years full-time work experience in order to get a positive skills assessment from TRA. If you are somebody who's working in a non-licensed trade occupation like chef, cook, motor mechanic, a carpenter, cabinet maker, and who does not have any formal qualification, then in that case, you do need five years full-time work experience in order to get a positive skills assessment. Whereas if you are somebody who does have a formal qualification, then in that case, you need three years full-time work experience in your trade occupation. So there are two pathways that are available under this program. Pathway one is for applicants who do not hold an Australian qualification and pathway two is for applicants who hold an Australian qualification or an Australian license in their occupation. So you will have to pick one of the two pathways when you apply for your skills assessment. So there are a few steps that are involved if you're looking at getting a positive skills assessment for your trade occupation. So as you can see on my screen now, the first step that is involved is that you will have to choose a TRA approved RTO and then you will have to organize the documentary evidence assessment and then the technical assessment. Now practical skills demonstrations are mandatory for licensed pathway one applicants and then you will receive your outcome. Once you have chosen a TRA approved RTO, you will have to provide documentary evidence assessment and have to provide all the documents to your assessor. So the fees for this step is 1280 Australian dollars and I've just put on my screen what kind of documents you will be asked to provide. So you will be asked to provide a recent passport sized photograph, a copy of the biographical identification page of your current passport, evidence of skills and experience including but not limited to training documents evidence of employment and employment statements, copies of each document in original language accompanied by a copy of the English translation and evidence of your payment because you'll have to pro pay to RTA to do this step. So you will also have to provide a payment receipt from RTA when you are lodging for this step. One of the main requirement is that you need to have worked at least for 12 months full time in your nominated occupation in the last three years. So if you have not been working in the last three years in your trade occupation, then you won't be eligible for getting the skills assessment for your trade occupation. 
If the assessor is satisfied with all the documents you have provided and they are convinced that you have the skills and the experience necessary to get the skills assessment, then they will invite you to move on to the next step, which is the technical assessment. Now the fees of this step will depend on what pathway you have chosen. So if you have chosen a pathway one where you do not hold an Australian qualification, then the fees for this step is $2,000. And if you have chosen pathway two, which means you do have an Australian qualification, then you will be charged $900 Australian dollars for this step. So this step is assessed by a qualified assessor who is also a qualified tradesperson in your nominated occupation. So this involves a technical interview and once you have passed this technical interview, in some cases you may have to go through the practical assessment and practical assessment is also mandatory especially if you are working in one of the licensed occupations like plumber and electricians. But if you will be doing a practical assessment or not, in the non-licensed trade occupation it will really depend on what the assessor chooses to do so he may waive that requirement of going through the practical assessment for the non-licensed trade occupations the fees for the practical assessment for licensed occupations is two thousand australian dollars and it is a mandatory requirement for licensed occupations to go through the practical assessment if you are successful in all these steps, then you will receive an outcome letter which indicates that you have received a positive skills assessment and you can then go ahead and lodge a visa application with the Department of Home Affairs. Once you have got a positive skills assessment in your trade occupation, then you can either start looking at the skilled migration visas like 189, 190 or 491 or if you have an employer who is ready to sponsor you who is located in Australia, then you can start looking at the 482 visa, 186 visa or the 494 visas. So at the moment we are accepting applications from the countries that are listed on my screen now and also the trade occupations that are listed on my screen now we are accepting applications. So you can also see this information in the description of the video and if you think you have the required skill level and the required experience in one of those trade occupations and you want to get the skills assessment process started please get in touch with us. Stay updated about Australia's immigration. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel.